around, Mum. Keep your chin up, mate. Time bombing there, chums. Get cracking. Blimey. I came here for peace and quiet. Delayed action, order done, corner of the hospital, 2,000 pounder. All right, clear this area, every house within two blocks. Right. You've reported it? Yes, sir, bomb disposal section. Crew's on its way now. Many more patients to get out, Doctor? Yeah, quite a few. It's round the back, sir. Nice to have a look at it. My looking at it won't stop it going off. Get them all cleared out. Good luck. Yeah, we shall need it. Everything ready, Sergeant? Yes, sir. This way, sir. Went through a stone wall as if it were a ruddy paper bag, sir. How long has it been down? About ten minutes, sir. There it is, sir. The Lord take me careful. You're from the... Why, Captain Stevenson, isn't it? There you are. Already I'm waiting for you. Drifted. Didn't get a chance to straighten out. Must have been low. Can't take a chance moving it. I'll deal with it here. Yes, sir. Oh, Danny, you must be quiet. You must lie quite still. Hello. Hello? Can't you get that child away? I can't, sir. We mustn't be moved. It's got to be kept quite still. Out. No, but the goddess is Well, that's what I'm doing to this fella, taking out his tonsils, giving him a sore throat so he can't talk. Why didn't he take him away first? Well, he came to the hospital same as you and your sister. So we've got to do him here. That's only fair. What, mister? I'm Danny. Danny, you can help by keeping quiet. I've got to listen to his insides. The quieter you keep, the more I can listen. Is there going to be any more noise? Sergeant, all set. All set, sir. Two thousand pounder, new type. Now removing fuse cap. Fuse cap removed. New type detonator head. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler not tripped. Repeat. Time combination, delayed action, tumbler not tripped. Right. New type mounting. Security pit. Now removing security pin. Mister. Who are you talking to? Friends of mine, Danny. Telling them what I'm doing. Then if I do anything silly, they can tell the next man where I went wrong. Why can't you tell him yourself? Quiet again, Danny. Still as a mouse. Removing pin. Pin removed. Detonator hasn't come away. This is the ticklish bit. Removing detonator. Detonator removed. Okay, Sergeant. All over? All over. Operation successful. Patient died. Oh. <laughs> well, Sergeant, good work, sir. Careful, you tied. Here's the captain now. From the war office, sir. Very urgent. Help. Give me my coat. Yes, sir. Sorry, Sergeant. You'll have to carry on. The brass hats are wanting me for some reason or other. Good luck. Thank you, sir.
Ich hab den Stehen, sonst ab. Na, ein Pferd. This is General Weber. How do you do? How do you do, sir? Have a cigarette. Thank you. Well, Stevenson, before we begin, just let's know if we've got this right. Your father was Colonel Lawrence Stevenson. That's right, killed in 1916 in the war. Yes, before that, as a civilian, he was consulting chemist to the oil refineries in Plastia, in Romania. You grew up there. You were born there. Yes, and I came to England to school when I was 15. After you left school, you spent two years in Germany. The uh, Berlin University. Chemical engineering. Yes. Uh, well, now, don't you think it about the time that we, uh, you told Captain Stevenson why we asked him to come and see us? Yes. Well, Stevenson, the fact is, the Nazis are making poison gas on a huge scale in a new factory. In Czechoslovakia, somewhere near Pilsen. We've reason to believe they're using a new formula, fog gas. Now, we want to know exactly what they're making and stop them making it. In other words, we want someone to get hold of the formula, then blow the whole place to blazes before they get a chance to distribute the stuff, which might be at any moment. You speak German fluently and Romanian like a native. Yes. Yeah. You're a chemical expert. And as things are at the moment, you could get in through Romania. I'm afraid all I know about spying has been picked up from one or two rather second-class novels. This is the sabotage job. And a pretty long shot, whatever way you look at it. No one would blame you if you don't think you're up to it. When would you want me to start, sir? Tonight. Hello, Mother. Where would you be off to such short notice? Now, you know better than that. Surely you don't want me to be a complete outsider and give the lady away. I'm not interested in the lady, even supposing she is one. Well, really, I'm surprised at you. There's been a special messenger from the war office after you. Hadn't you better find out all about that first? I have. They want to make me into a brigadier. That's why I'm clearing out. I can't stand the responsibility. You're not packing to go away with someone. Or for very long. A few days. Oh, a bit longer than that. A few weeks, perhaps. Hilly. Don't you think I deserve a holiday? Is it far? Hold that for me, darling, will you? Will you be able to write? You don't want me to ask any questions. That's about it. Thank you. Well, Duchess. Your father used to call me that. Yes, I remember. He lived the last time. <laughs> Hello, hello. Percy thinks we're having a row. I'm coming down the door to see you go. You always forget to shut it. No. I'll shut it. Stay here. Stay here. Sit down. Will you tidy up for me? Look at the mess I have made. You always leave your mother to tidy up, don't you? Yes, and she always does. It's a very bad thing for both of us. Well, take care of yourself. Now turn up again before you know where you are. Be a good girl.
Mr. Rayfield, please. Oh, I'm sorry. No good. I told you before, there's no vacancies. But please, Mr. Wakefield, it is necessary that I speak with you. Now, look here, old man. If there was anything I could do for you, I would. But there's nothing doing. We're full up. Now, leave me alone. But please, Mr. Wakefield. Oh, confounded man. Clear out. Oh. I wandered lonely as a cloud that floats on high o'er vales and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd... Host of golden daffodils. Number 38, Chivesti. Eight o'clock tonight. Believe me, madame, with me you have nothing to fear. I am discretion itself. Our love will be like a secret symphony. I am not as others begging for garters, locks of hair. No, no. Just give me some simple little thing with nothing personal about it at all. You know, gold cigarette case, cufflinks, spell stud, Rolls Royce. You know, just some simple little thing. How's that? How am I doing? Grand. Romanian iron guard is a life. An officer, but not a gentleman. How well I know them. You stay here in Romania, you've made a very good living. Thank you very much. You hear some more about yourself. Mm. Yan Tartu. Mm. Enterprising chap, aren't I? By the way, what happened to the real Tartu? He met with a fatal accident. Oh, you fellows have been busy. Here are Yan Tartu's papers. The membership card of the Romanian Iron Guard. Until you cross the border into Hungary, this passport describes you as a Greek merchant, Paterus, a mythical character. Am I all right as a Greek merchant? Well, you will be when you get your overcoat on. But don't worry, you're all right until you cross into Hungary, everything's fixed for you. But once you cross the border into Hungary, you must destroy that Greek passport. Then present yourself to the German consulate, Seged. Seged. Fellow named Müller, Dr. Müller. Dr. Müller. Now, you must get your visa for Czechoslovakia from him. We'll be standing by tomorrow night, as arranged. And then from get onwards, well, uh, they can't be much use to you. I'm a struggle along on my own, eh? Yes. Mm. It's not going to be too easy. Now, one last memory test. I don't want to take any unnecessary chances. The whole thing's one big chance. Now, when you finally get to Pilsen, the man you contact is... Peter Valek, a shoemaker. His address? 38 Reichstrasse. Good. Now, remember, he's our only remaining contact with the Czech underground. So you realize his importance. Quite. What is it? What is it? Friend of the Reich, Dr. Müller? Yes, yes, yes. Please, please, let me in. They're on my heels. Please, why do you wait? All right, all right, all right. Dr. Müller. Oh. Friend of the Reich, eh? Yes. I need proof of that. Proof. patrol would treat me no better than my own people if they got me. No. They tried. I left one with a broken jaw. Come with me. But if they should see me come here, they were on my heels. This house is German territory. Please. 
Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. Your papers. Romanian Iron Guard, isn't hmm? Lorenz Division Battalion. Captain, 2nd Division, Bucharest Battalion. Who sent you here to me? Colonel von Setter at your legation in Bucharest. You have his letter there. Hmm. Says some nice things about you. But damaging to the Reich, if this had fallen into the wrong hands. Strange he give you such a letter to carry across two borders when he could have used the telephone. Maybe he thought the telephone unwise. Maybe. Sit down. Colonel Van Wetter, German legation Bucharest. Dr. Muller, consul speaking. You know Colonel Van Wetter well? Oh, but of course, of course. Like a brother, all these months we work together, hand in glove, shoulder to shoulder. You really think that is necessary? I do, most necessary. Does it bore you? No, 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 not in the least. I'm only worried that you should go to so much unnecessary trouble on my behalf. Don't you worry about that. Where do you intend to go from here? Well, Von Vetter thought I could be of use in one of the munition or chemical plants in Pin. He thought I could be of great use. They need skilled men. I am a skilled man. I'm a skilled chemist. My only wish is to serve the Führer. Heil Hitler. Von Vetter thought you could give me a Czechoslovakian visa and recommend me to the authorities in Pinsky. Yes, he says that here. Hello. Is that Colonel Von Vetter? This is Heinrich Müller, Consul Siget, Hungary. Yes, Siget. What? I can't hear you clearly. Oh, I'm sorry, Colonel, to get you out of bed, but this seems important. Yes, I have a man here, an escaped iron goddess, Jan Tartu. Did you give him a letter to deliver to me? Yes. He's here now. Then you did give him a letter. I'm sorry, Colonel. Yes, perhaps I should have rung you in the morning, but it seems so important. I assure you, Colonel, I, I'm very sorry. I, I, I'm sorry, Colonel. I, I'm very sorry, Colonel. Do everything you can for him. Good. He's convinced. Great. You sounded like Dr. Goebbels with a bilious attack. Come well, on, let's wind up and get out of here. My dear. Immediately for registration. Police headquarters, section three. Can I stop at the shoemaker? Why? Well, look, look, look. It's terrible. I can't walk about like this. I might meet a girl, you know. Romanian, you can stop anywhere you please. At your own risk. Aha, she's worth the risk. Please, hurry. My papers, please. If you've not registered in an hour, you'll have very little space to walk in at all. I'll be registered in half an hour. Well, I wait. Uh, I hope so. If you will bear with the efforts of an old man. Old man? Oh, oh no women folk about in your old age. No family. Mm. Well, I too wander lonely as a cloud. It floats on high or veils and hills. When all at once I saw a crowd. A host of golden daffodils. You're alone here. Where are you from? Lakefield, Bucharest. And your mission? The new gas plant. I shall need help from the underground. Tonight, the uh, captain. Th th this uh, shoe is splitting here. Yeah, you yeah. repair it. Yeah, yeah, it yeah. is big. What did you give it? I'll hit that. I'll hit that. Check, big. In the name of the rice, I arrest you. Be what for? Treason. 
What are you doing? Your papers. Captain Yen, Tartu, Iron Guard of Romania. So, mm -hmm. what are you doing here? I've only just arrived in Pilsen. I needed a shoemaker. You did, eh? Well, at least I shall never have to touch the feet of any more like you. Take him out. What's wrong with you? <laughs> One has to admit they have a certain rat-like courage. You will be drained from him till the last drop. Good. I see you have not yet registered. Go to police headquarters immediately. Certainly, sir. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Permit for work. Permit for food. Permit for clothing. Police identity card. It is an offense to lose them. Orderly. A room in the Palachek house. You will report to Inspector Fogel, who also lives there. Inspector. A foreman at the Skoda Works? Correct. But that is ridiculous. Ridiculous? What do you mean? I am not an ordinary munition worker. Dr. Miller's letter tells you that. And I tell you, all my life I've worked at chemistry. It is not much, I ask, not much. To serve the Fuhrer in the best way I can, that is only common sense, that is only reasonable. I am an expert, but an expert only at chemistry. You will work where you're told. That is party orders. I have only one wish, to serve the Fuhrer. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. Don't worry, Tadio. You'll have an easy time working with the Czechs. Every now and then, some of them try and interfere with production. Keep your eyes open, and you will be well rewarded. I can promise you that. That's all. Thank you, sir. Yes, I will keep my eyes open. Yes, I can promise you that. Down your horn. Someone important, hmm? General von Reinsen, Commandant of this area. Ho, oh, oh. ho. Hi, Hitler. Good morning. This is Captain Tartu. He is billeted here. But we have no more rooms. He will occupy your room. You will move into the kitchen. And be quick about it. Now, Chair Inspector Vogel, you're here, sir. Do not bother to remove your things. I will take the kitchen. Oh, but the soldier orders. The soldier. I will take the responsibility. That is very kind of you. Not at all. If your room suited me, I should take it. Oh, yes. But it has no private entrance and likewise no private exit. At the kitchen, there is a back door. Hmm? Well, I am... Though I need hardly tell you, you've only to look at me. I am a man for the ladies. Or rather, the ladies are for me. And with a lady, a back door, she comes, she goes. And in the whole wide world, nobody knows. Very helpful, very encouraging. You understand. <laughs> No, perhaps you have forgotten. Our patient general, or perhaps impatient, is waiting for someone who lives here. Marushka Lanova. Her room is upstairs. A woman? Is she beautiful? The German officers think so. A countrywoman of yours. A Czech. She has found it convenient to forget it. I'll take her to the kitchen. Ah, Captain Tartu. Hi, Hitler. Hi, Hitler. They called me from headquarters. I'm to take you to the Skoda Works. I'm at your service. And I at yours. Anna! Anna! Anna Palachek! What have you got to say for yourself? Why, I don't know what you hear. Don't stand there flapping your tongue about. Answer me. Why haven't these boots been saddle soaked? Don't tell me you can't get any. I might very easily have some wrong out of your hide. Marushka, wonderful. You're dressed as beautiful when you're angry as when you're pleased. Thank you, Arthur. How charming. Pardon, Captain Yan Tartu of the Romanian Iron Guard. The inspector omitted to introduce me. I can well understand. His attention was elsewhere. But I would go further than he. For me, your anger is not only beautiful, it is a burning flame. 
in itself a fitting symbol of the new order. Really, Captain, your words are as fantastic as your clothes. Marushka, you having coffee with me this afternoon? I'm sorry, Arthur. Oh, what about dinner, then, tonight? There's a new orchestra at the casino. My time is not entirely my own. Will you ask me again? Of course. Will you, Otto? Of course. as she is desirable. Who would not be a commandant? My orders are to take you to the works. Are you ready? Perfectly. Fantastic. What? What she said about my clothes. Fantastic. Oh. <laughs> well, perhaps in this country they will seem a little strange. What do you think? For me, I must always be well-dressed. You know, just a simple little suit. You think I should wear something else? At the works, you'll get a uniform. Good. I'm always at my best in a uniform. Good. I'm ready. operate on a 12-hour shift. I need to tell you that you must exact the maximum efficiency. They are the four-arm laggards. They look it. What is happening? Somebody has been detected at sabotage. Is a counterfeit, sir. I see. Where do you get it? Who made it? Do you realize what this means for you? Of course, if you have any accomplices here whose names you might care to tell, things might go easier for you. Take her away. Hopelessly stupid. None of them ever tell. How many shells went through? About 600, sir. Put them away. They're useless. I'm afraid, sir, it's too late. They are gone. Check every shell on this line before resuming production. Yes, sir. How will you deal with her? She'll be shot immediately. Favorite? Hmm? She lives at the house, the daughter of the Palatrack woman. Attractive? Oh, yes, very. But not to be compared with the other. There is something about a beautiful woman in a riding habit. Captain, hmm? I think it would be a good thing for all concerned if I gave you some advice. But please. There is a rule, a strict rule, that party members should not fraternize with Czech women. So? Then this morning, the Commandant, he break the rule. You force me to be blunt. My dear Fogel, I don't force you. You are blunt. Keep off, Marushka. You mean the Commandant might be annoyed? Or perhaps the Inspector? <laughs> well, in Inspector, at least there's one less left to argue about. <laughs>
is good. What is it? Feel paprika. Ah, delicious. I should look forward. Mother. We're going to help you in a minute. How many women live in this house? Three. Who are they? Myself, my daughter, and Marushka Lanova, a daughter. Are the other two in now? Why, only my daughter. Marushka Lanova has not yet returned. How long has your daughter been in? I don't know. I, I... May I be of assistance? Captain Jan Tartu, Romanian Iron Guard, now foreman of the Skoda Works. What has happened? A German officer has been killed nearby in the Kesselplatz a few minutes ago. Murdered? By some woman. She was seen running away. Escaped so far. I ask you, how long has your daughter been in? I, I don't know. I, I... Ah, but I know. I will bring her down. Yes, that's right about it. What have you? You check, see if you can do what you like, but we'll show you. Yes, yes. You don't stay with a woman. Don't think you can hide anything from me, my girl. No. I tell you that is impossible. Can't search your home. I'll show you if I can't search your home. You chicks have got to be taught to cooperate. An officer of the Reich has been murdered. And if you have a gun here, I... Never mind, Romanian. I'll handle this. How long have you been in the house? About half an hour. That's right. I saw her. But she came in through the back door. I often come in by the kitchen. Are you sure she came in half an hour ago? I'm certain of it. And now that I remember, Major, she had a funny look on her face. I congratulate you, Captain. Your powers of this sermon are remarkable. But your memory is faulty. Didn't you hear us say that this murder took place less than 15 minutes ago? Yes. What? Are you sure? No. Captain Tartu will never be a candidate for our military intelligence. <laughs> All the same, don't you ever dare tell a member of the party that he can't search your home. I suggest you spend your first evening studying what's contained in those. Party program, behavior, future aim. Always interpreted by the Führer himself. It will be an inspiration. Anyone calls, I've gone to the council meeting at the Bauhaus. Yes, Inspector. Heil Hitler. Heil Hitler. I think our Führer must use as many pencils as he does men. <laughs> you saved my life. We cannot understand why. For whatever reason, I shall always owe you mine. In times like these, you never know who your friends are. Who are you? I'm here on a mission. I've come a long way, that's all I can tell you. But it is so important. After what you have done... Pavla, you can help me. You must know other Czechs as brave and loyal as you are. I must contact the underground, you understand? The underground? Yes. I can't tell you how urgent it is. Every hour counts. Tonight, if you can. I don't know. I'll 
see what I can do. You see... Oh, so you're home for once. Come upstairs and take my boots off. This Marusha, tell me something about her. She boards here. She seems a girl of means, of education. Her father owned the big textile factories. My husband worked for him. Is her father alive? He and my husband are both dead. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm very sorry. But this intimacy with high-ranking German officers is rather a strange transfer of affections, isn't it? Some women are loyal only to their own greed, Captain. Yes, yes, I will. Listen. I can't talk now. She wants to see you. Marushka? Yes, up in her room. Now? Yes. Command performance, eh? Wait, wait. What can one lose? Come in. Oh, yeah. Oh, Captain Tartu. Never have I climbed stairs with greater anticipation. I see you're incorrigible. Have a cigarette and give me one, will you? Please. Thank you. Sit down, Captain. Oh. I detest being forced into apologies, but it seems I owe you one. I can hardly believe my ears. Not only beautiful, but unexpected. A woman of surprises. Is it too much? Too much? Well, General von Reinsen, the commandant. Mm, I know. He was telling me of the work of your Iron Guard in Romania. Very clever. And very courageous. I don't think he warranted my rudeness, so hereby I apologize. And hereby I accept your apology. And what is more, I too can be generous. There was, I admit it, something in what you said. You are a woman of taste. No, just bad tempered before lunch. No, no, a woman of taste. You like me better as I am now, eh? Infinitely. Ah, but I see a doubt, a misgiving, a shadow in those eyes. I know, the pomade, yes. Never again do I soil myself with the pomade. From now on it is an offense. Never shall it be said that Captain Tartu relied on the hair oil. No, you shall see me as I am. Almost. Almost? Why not quite? Who knows, it is possible, we shall see. What on earth is that? Your dinner. Dinner? What in milk and dried up cheese? Where's that veal paprika? The butcher had no veal things with her dinner. <sighs> More whining excuses. Get it out of here before I'm sick. What a way to live. Well, seems I shall have to go elsewhere for my dinner. Will you give me the pleasure of taking you? Why, yes. In fact, I rather hoped you'd ask me. Can I have half an hour to get dressed? Nothing could be better, for in that half hour, I too have most important business. May one ask what? I have to remove the pomade. Hi, Hitler. Babushka! Hello, little one. Hello. Babushka. Paul. Every officer in the room. You're not enjoying your evening? Oh, yes, but we're watched by too many eyes. What's wrong with that? Well, I look forward to this first time alone with you. I thought it might be, like you, rather unexpected. Unexpected? Oh. Away from my own country, I'm a rather lonely man. You're a very beautiful woman. I grabbed it this evening, like, uh, like a drowning man who needs help. Help? Every lonely man needs a woman's help. I hoped I might be myself with you. Instead, I dance round like a performing animal, watched by a grinning audience. This evening is not yet over. Outside it is moonlight and quiet. Let me take you. Hmm? Take me back to our table. No? 
sorry. Why? I feel in the mood for talk, for real talk, an exchange of confidences, of hopes and fears. This helps. Oh, but you've done a lot of talking. You've told me the life story of Jan Tartu. What do you think of it? Shall I tell you the truth? Please. I don't know what to think. It was very highly colored, but men will do desperate things. Out of love for their country. Or for their faith in the new order. Why, oh, yes, of course. Or for their love of freedom. You know, Captain Tartu, without the pomade, there is something very different about you. Away from Fogel and the Commandant, I would say the same about you. My family have lost everything and own much. I want to get it back. That's why I risk my reputation with our German visitors. You risked something of your reputation as a good Nazi in your little plot with Pavla. Huh? Hmm. There was a whole pot full of veal paprika in the kitchen, and you knew it. And Pavla knew you knew it. I'm not such a fool as... as Captain Sartoo must sometimes appear. You may take me into the moonlight. Pavla told you everything? Everything she knew. Who are you? Not yet. You know Peter Vallec, the shoemaker? There are many shoemakers. He was my only contact. You know, you're taking a big chance on me. I'm taking a chance on what's behind your eyes. Look at me. Will you do the same with me? My country is being tortured to death. If I were to do anything to increase that suffering... I'm here to help. You must believe that. You want me to put you in touch with the underground? As soon as possible. Tomorrow. When you return from the work. Well... You were right about this evening. Unexpected. I believe in you. You give me new hope and courage. It's the courage of people like you will make it all worthwhile. Something to hang on to in this mad world. Life, laughed, and love. They'll come back if we do hang on. They'll come back. The moon and moonlight, that doesn't change. Not the only thing that hasn't. I sat under that same moon at home. Home? In my mother's garden. Wild roses in the hedge. The river at our feet. And life ahead to do what we liked with. <sighs> Queer to be talking to you like this in this... this little circle of peace. Couldn't we pretend in this little circle for a little while? There's no war. We're free again. Our lives are our own to do what we like with. Yes. Let's pretend. Oh, you know that fellow Tartu? Remember him? Do I? Hmm. Oh, yes. Yes. Well, he and I had one thing in common. We both think very beautiful woman. I'm glad. Though I don't very much care what Tartu thinks. Well, what he'd do if he were here. Tartu? Mm -hmm. What do you think? What do you think? Oh, I expect he'd do some simple little thing. <laughs>
know, Captain Tartu. Things aren't quite as easy as that. Marushka, you... Oh, Otto, I'm glad you've come. Good evening, Inspector. What are you saying? Has this fellow been... No, no, Otto, nothing, really. Those fools at the house sent me up a dinner which was utterly uneatable, so I had to come out. I pressed our Romanian gallant here into service, and the result was partly my fault, partly the champagne. Oh, lady, I'm desolate. I'd hoped it was my fault. Really, Captain, you flatter yourself. Otto, let's find a table inside. I gave you some pamphlets. Go and read them. <laughs> Darling, why couldn't you have been around when I was tired, hungry, and watching their back sooner. That fool Otto turned up. I shouldn't have done what I did today. Put all of you in danger. No, darling. It's been over three months since that beast ordered Carl and the others to be executed. I shouldn't have let him live that long. I know, darling. But Carl got his revenge today because I had Carl's own revolver. And he fell right in the gutter. Right on his face in the filth. members in the morning. young swine. I've failed, but others will carry on. Keep her here. Captain, the guard is certain that this tattoo here saw the girl Please. pick up. The door, it is open. May we have it closed? Shut it. Thank you. Yes, it was Pavla Palajet. She had that bag in her hand. More steel filing. To burn out more motors. Yes. 
Why didn't you say so out there? But Lieutenant isn't it obvious? <coughs> Captain, surely you understand. But it is so plain. Already I have made friends among the Czechs. They begin to trust me. The work that I was sent here to do, it will go on. But if these Czechs were ever to suspect that it was their new friend, Captain Tartu, who gave this girl away, well, surely now, Captain, a man of your intelligence must see. Yes, of course. Quite right. Good work, Captain. This won't be made public, I hope. Of course not. What do you take me for? Start your machines again. Have the girls shot. Yes, sir. Oh, Tatu. Please. You seem very quick weeded for a Romanian. Oh, well, as I told them when I first came here, but not all are as quick as you, even in the party. I am not an ordinary munition worker. No, no. I'm a graduate chemist. Is that so? Chemist, sir? Chemist. Well, I will see what can be done. That is all. Thank you, sir. Good afternoon. How's the headache? Frightful. I didn't sleep a wink all night. So don't tell me I have to wait, because I made an appointment early this morning. Dr. Novotny will see you now. Good afternoon. Good afternoon, Doctor. Come in. Please, sit down. Well, Marushka, I understand you spent yesterday with the Commandant again. Anything to tell us? Nothing yet. Every time I brought up the subject of the new aerodrome, he avoided it, very obviously. Then why call a meeting? I wanted to speak to the Council because I feel I have something much more important. It concerns a man named Tartu, Jan Tartu. Tartu? Well, then you know him. We know he's living in the Palachuk house. Yes. And he's a friend, Dr. Novotny. Yesterday, when they came to see Pavla, he hit the gun, saved her life. He's on a very important mission. He wants to contact the underground. You didn't tell him about us. Oh, no, naturally not. I only obey orders. But I want permission to bring him here. What makes you so sure of him, Marushka? Well, I told you, he saved Pavla's life. Oh, yes. He mentioned Peter Balek. And then, well, seeing so much of the other kind, I'm not entirely insensible to honesty and sincerity when I do meet it. Did you know Peter Valek was executed yesterday? No. When did you last see Pavla Palachik? This morning? This afternoon, she was shot. Marushka, how Pavla was discovered. The foreman came into the head officer. He said he wanted to report her in private. Why? He said he was gaining the confidence of certain Czechs, that the work that he was sent to do was going forward, and that it would spoil his plans if it was known that he had reported her. What was the foreman's name? Jan Tatu. It's 
So, you know, thank you. I might just as well have killed her myself. You were caught by the oldest trick, my dear. He pretended to save Pavla in order to get at the rest of us. I'll do anything to see him dead. Anything. It would be excellent to have him out of the way. We must be careful. They are taking hostages. From now on, any more killings, and a hundred of our people, two hundred even, would die in return. If that is so, forgive my putting it bluntly. Are we wise to trust this case to someone who has already allowed her sex to influence her judgment? I have known Marush Kalanova since she was born. The mistake she has made over this man will make her more careful from now on. Besides, you are on pretty intimate terms with him. I can do anything I like with him. Very useful, that. The virtue of necessity. You can trust me absolutely to eliminate Captain Tartu. Knife. No. Novotny has just told us. For every Nazi killed, 200 Czechs will die. I would give myself up, but it wouldn't do any good, darling. It's a waste of soup on them. It doesn't feel safe unless it's 200 to 1. No, it must be done some other way. Novotny asked me how I was going to do it. I said I didn't know. I didn't then. Do now. If he were to be done away with by one of his own kind. One sneaking coward destroys another, Anna, and nobody the wiser. I think I refused to come in here last night, for some such reason. <laughs> the girl can change her mind, huh? <laughs> Your hat is pretty, but you might like to take it off. Huh? <laughs> well, let me get my breath <laughs> and have a look round. This is a very restful room, Arthur. It's nuts, sent from home. This didn't come from home. That? Oh, that came from the finest art collection at Pilsen. Borrowed for the duration. Yes, of my life. Marushka, to your being here in my room. To the success of my being here. I said, to the success of my being here, Otto. Otto, I need your help. I need it badly. And I know you're one I can trust. Always, Marushka. In any way. You know I want to get back what my family owned after the war. I know, darling, but that's something I can... And I know you have a party career in mind. Obviously, a man of your ability doesn't expect to remain a mere inspector. Oh, I've, I've plans ahead that will put we me... We might realize both our ambitions, Otto. If you'll help me with a certain individual by the name of Jan Tartu. Tartu? What's he... I think he's a spy. What? I'm sure of it. Your 
know. I detest the insolent fool, Marushka. But you must be careful. He's of the Romanian Iron Guard. The party still needs their help. He came with credentials. Iron Guard. I doubt he even comes from Romania. No? What makes you think that? I don't know. There's an underground group here of some sort working against the Reich, isn't there? Yes, yes, go on. Well, last night at the casino, he hinted he was trying to contact them to get their help. Help? For what? Otto. When a man wants the help of an underground movement, it, it can't be for the good of the Reich. Oh, yes, I... Now, I didn't say anything last night to you. That was why I was so easy with him. I wanted to see if he'd mention it to me again this morning. Well, did he? Just as I was coming out of my room, he suggested that this girl in the house, this... this Pavla... Oh, yes. I understand she was shot today. Sabotage where she works or something. Yes, yes, but never mind about her. All right. He practically said he knew I was her friend and that we could do something for him with the underground or whatever it is they call themselves. Oh. Oh, this is serious. Oh. Well, we can easily prove it about him. How? Call the Gestapo and tell them to check up on him. No, no, Otto. Huh? Not when we can get all the credit ourselves. Yes, but... But how? But, oh, my darling, it's so simple. You can use this, can't you? Yes, but... I've got to be sure. All it needs is some little meeting. Such as in the garden last night, only you're behind a hedge to hear for yourself. Then what? I scream, you shoot, you and I are both there to testify. An enemy of the Reich lies there, uh, both of I see. I get what I want, and maybe they'll make you a general or something. Very clever, Marushka. When can you meet him again? Tonight. Where? At the cafe where we were last night. I'll be there. There may be people around. Oh, so the good, more convincing. You know the alcove on the terrace? Yes. Take him there. I'll make arrangements. I'll be able to hear everything he says. Mm, darling, you're a genius. Yeah. And Otto. Huh? Do you know what else might happen for us if we are successful? What? Next time I come in this room, I might even take off my hat. I'm sorry to be late, but it's been a hard day. Pavla, I suppose you know. Yes. Were you there? Yes. She looked at me when they led her away. I'll never forget that look, never. I know. I know how close she was to you. What is your real name? Later, I will. And I've other things to tell you, things that can't be told until my job's done. Have you any news for me? You see, well, I didn't tell you last night, but I'm not a member of this underground group myself. Frankly, I don't think they're ready to trust me yet. What? But I was sure Pavla was. And I thought through Pavla I could... But now... Do you know anyone else? Well, I have to be very careful. Oh, I realize that. But it's more important than ever now. Things are coming to a head. I'm being transferred to the new gas laboratories tomorrow. I'm sorry, darling. But I work as fast as I can. You know that, don't you? Of course. Of course. So just let's enjoy being together. Yes. Would you like to sit? Over there? Shall we? Just to prove I found time to think of you as something more than an accomplice. Just looked as if it was waiting. Waiting to be bought for you. It's 
lovely. Ah, oh, that's better. That's much better. I've always liked that too. Und weiche keinen Finger bleibt. Mm-hmm. That German. Yes, written years ago. That sort of music's universal. Strange. They tell me that's one of the Führer's favorite waltzes. Oh. Well, if that music could speak, I'm sure it would object. In your country, do they hate Hitler as much as we do here? Well, I don't know that we spend a lot of time hating him. After all, most of us are working 24 hours a day to get rid of him. I like to hear you say that. Tell me more of what you're doing to get rid of him. I want to hear. Mm -hmm. I want to hear it from you. All officers, report to me. Trouble, I'm afraid. Don't worry. Attention, attention, all checks. By order of the commandant of this area, owing to the illegal and treacherous behavior among certain disruptive Czech elements of the local population, all Czechs will be examined for their passes, other papers, and concealed weapons. On the word of command, all Czechs will collect in the center of the floor. Attention! Czechs, march! <laughs> Take him away. I understand. See you tomorrow. Of course. I'll be at the works all day. Yeah. Hmm? Let's have dinner at the same place. Same time. Wonderful. I'm looking forward. So am I. Captain. Where is the gas plant? It's built inside the hill. Walk through the farmhouse and you'll find it.
Artista, pretty? Oh, from top to toe. Is she uh, attached? Yes, but uh, he's going to Prague in a couple of days. All right, I see you later, huh? Guard it with your life. This way, please. If there is an air raid alarm, follow the sign. Wait here, I'll find up the window. Dr. Willendorf? Captain Tartu, Dr. Willendorf. I'll hit her. I'll hit Come with me. Who is this? My new chemist, Tartu, Captain von Salis. Well, what are you waiting for? Only to serve the cure. I did that. Tartu, gas retorts, four of them, to my own specifications. I trust you know your business, my friend. We are running an emergency schedule here. I'm quite confident, sir. You have worked with the metal in concentrate. Oh, yes. Both O2 and O3 dehalocytes under Professor Brun at Munich. Good. This way. You will find we are making an amazing gas here, Tartu. Start by learning the formula thoroughly. I didn't see any bomb casings out there, Dr. Willendorf. Are they filled on another level? No. We ship the gas to the various forms in two separate liquid forms. There the liquids are compounded and the bomb case is charged just prior to operations. But get that set in your head as quickly as possible. Conceivable in its deadliness. And it will be put to good use. I would like you to come one hour earlier in the morning, please. Certainly. All day tomorrow we shall be running final tests and I shall need your assistance. Final tests? You're not ready with your first shipment, are you? Two weeks ahead of time. Tomorrow night they will be loading it onto the trucks. And soon on some beautifully clouded evening it will be unloaded on England. I'll hit the heavy. called unexpectedly to take her to dinner. She told me to tell you that only that could keep her from seeing her tonight. Where did they go? Do you know? No. Is there no way at all that I can contact her? No. Can't you get a message through to her? No. Look here, I've got to do something tonight. Take any chance. Can't you help? I can get you some supper. Randy, how much have I been swindled? I want to get out of this sloppy. 
Yes, sir. Who asked for that? Get the beef. Get out of the way. Give me another brandy, quick. Oh, you seem a pleasant enough sort of fellow. Mm. How about letting me buy you a drink? Mm. Oh. Thank you. Why not? This is my limit for this evening. Thank you all the same. Brandy, sir. Sir, you checks. Think yourselves pretty smart, don't you? Won't fraternize. Waiting for the hour and you're going to rise up and throw it out, eh? Oh. Well, who's going to lead you? Tell me that. <laughs> Some of those amateur heroes of yours that you've got hidden away in that underground army. Mm. Mm -hmm. All right, don't talk. But they are not going to lead you, I can tell you that. Why? Because they won't be able to rise out of the grave. That's why. I know six of the rats were going to be smoked out by the end of the week. Six. The Gestapo's got their names and everything. Do you know why I know? Because I happen to be. <laughs> well, maybe I'm talking to them. Hey, you. Another brandy, quick. Come in, sir. Plenty of things, I can tell you. Plenty of things. You must be pretty good at ice hockey. But if you're the people I think you are, it was worth it. Tonight you said you knew several names of Czechs on the Gestapo's list. Yes. We want to know who they are. Believe me, I don't know them. I only talk like that in the last hope of making contact with the underground. And I think I have. Haven't I? Supposing you have. I'm a British secret agent, gentlemen. I need your help desperately. We need more proof than merely your word for it. But that's all I can give. No, Peter Valiak. He was about to put me in touch with you and they caught him. My job is a very big one. I'm here to wreck their new gas plant. I'm working there now, but I must have help. Chemicals, a place to make pocket bombs, men to help make them. Tonight, now. They're shipping the first batch of gas tomorrow. You must believe me. Do you think I'd be mad enough to take this chance if the situation wasn't of the great... One moment. You informed on the paratrick girl. Why? I had to. They knew I'd seen her do it. And she knew they'd seen me. If you ever erect a monument to Czech patriotism, that girl's name should be carved in letters as high... Grant you that. What is your real name? Captain Seren Stevenson, Royal Engineers, now detached for special work with military intelligence. British swine! That's there. The Gestapo, I take it. Correct. It's not a nice sensation for a man to realize he's bungled his job, I assure you. 
your little display at the bar was slightly obvious. Evidently. Well. What now? Hmm. We do these things quickly. No formalities. Gas on shut at the base of the neck. Well, shall we carry on? Tell Hoover to get things ready. If you care to write a message to your family or anything, over there. Very kind of you. It will go through the decoding office. So don't try any tricks. Having a difficult time, huh? It isn't easy. First time I've written this kind of letter. Once is enough. Just a moment, read it. Dear Perry, I'm sorry I have messed things up. Please let my mother know. I'm sure you will be tactful. Give her my dear love. To you and all friends, all the best. Sorry to miss the victory. Binge. Yours, Terence Stevenson. That's it. I suppose you realize this is all quite futile. You can do your work with me, but you can have to do it with the next and the next. And no matter how long it takes, the whole civilized world will keep on coming at you. Coming at you and coming again. You know that? Why, you wait, Nestor! You made a brilliant effort to contact the underground. Congratulations. You have Captain Stevens. At your service, sir. By Jove. I'm Dr. Novosny. I have the honor to be chairman of our council. By Jove. It's the second time I've said that. <laughs> <laughs> I'm sorry we had to be so strenuous, but you can understand, I'm sure. Uh, certainly was a convincing performance. <laughs> <laughs> Look here, have you got anything besides beer here? <laughs> Peter, some wine for all of us. Oh, Doctor, we mustn't waste the set. Gigantic undertaking. Yes, I shall need all the help we can get in at once. A place to work. Watch mechanism for timing yes, the Yes, I know. Get to Urban. I set my office or his house. All the help we can give you, you shall have. We have our own laboratory here on the cellar. Crude as it is. Splendid. We'll manage. Beautiful work. I don't know what I'd have done without your help. The most compact container of lethal power I've ever seen. Oh, we learned something, eh? Yeah. Is there enough explosive in there to blow up the entire plant? Yeah, properly placed, there's enough nice machine in these to wipe out two entire blocks. The only thing I can understand is why they sent him. <laughs> <laughs> Didn't you say you had to report an hour earlier today? Yes. It is nearly seven o'clock. Oh, thank you. Our ah, timetable worked out perfectly. These are set to go off at exactly 12.15. That gives me just 15 minutes after noon lay off to drop them in and clear out. And Nesta here will be in the car by the south field. From 12 right. o'clock on. And I have the door open. Good. If you don't, you'll have to expect a passenger through the window. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, Lieutenant. I shall have to hurry. I'm late. Well, Tato? I've been waiting. Have you any news for me? Oh, plenty. See you in the lunch hour. Same old sabotage. Tonight, we use this together. Aha. Uh -huh.
Ah, Marushka. Marushka, good. Come. Come. Come in here. So serious, Otto? Serious? Wait till I put through a call and we'll see. Hello? Inspector Fogel speaking, Division A2. Get me Colonel von Wetter, German Legation, Bucharest. Yes, that's it. What is this little drama all about? When I got to headquarters this morning, I heard that Tartu is now working at the new gas factory. Yes, he did mention You know he didn't come home last night? No, I didn't. Oh, this is all too dangerous. We can't wait now. If anything happened, and it was found out that you and I were suspicious and hadn't reported him, why? Well, why this call to Bucharest? I inquired about his credentials at headquarters. He came with a letter from the consul at Seget, and was supposed to have been sent to him by von Wetter in Bucharest. I'm going to that source now. Do you really think you need? Yes, Marushka. Hello? Yes? I'm waiting. You mean... He isn't Gestapo? So is it a chance I made a mistake? Still waiting. An Inspector Fogel in Trochsum. Von Wetter speaking. Top two? That's impossible. Tatu has been dead over six months. Ah, then he is a spy. I thought his papers were forged. That's why I checked with you, Colonel. Yes, he'll be dealt with at once. Thank you, Colonel. Yes? Hi, Little. <laughs> you made no mistake, my darling. <laughs> you don't seem very pleased about it. Of course I'm pleased. I don't know what all the excitement about. I told you he was a spy, and now you find it out for yourself. Yes. But now he's working at the gas factory. I must have him arrested. At once. Hello? Why let the Gestapo... You talked about this doing us a bit of good? It will. I don't believe in waiting. Not for a moment. Hello? Hello. Huh? Don't you remember what I said when I was in here last? You men, you're all alike. First it's me, and then it's your future. Same thing, Marushka. You are in my future. This won't take long. Don't be too sure. I'm not used to being treated like this. Your telephone call can wait. You might lose both me and your future, if you're not very careful. Oh, I won't lose either. I've never felt so strong or full of confidence before. Hello? Don't you worry about me, darling. Inspector Fogel speaking. I want the gas factory. Emergency. First time in my... How did it happen? I can't tell you now. We've got to save him. There's no need to tie his hands. He is dead. Oh, I didn't mean to. I wish I had been able to do it. Think, Marushka. Kavla, Karl, your father. He can only die once. That is a pity. We shan't be safe here now. Go to Dr. Novotny and tell him I report to him as soon as possible. Funny. An inspector was calling the gas plant, and just when he said emergency, he stopped and hung up. Did you get the number he called from? Yes, but when I called back, there was no answer. You'd better report it. Yes. Have you got a permit? No, but it, it's very urgent. Have you got a permit? No, but I simply must get in. The All right, let her in. Well, Fraulein. Hello, Lieutenant. Could I possibly speak to a friend of mine? He says he works here. If he isn't lying. Well, if you give me his name, I'll see whether he is or not. Young Tattoo. Tattoo? <laughs> Just think of the best looking man in the place. I'm not counting yourself. Huh, Tattoo. He certainly wasn't lying about you, Fraulein. Was he telling the truth about your sister? Didn't he mention me? Lieutenant Krantz. Oh, yes. So you're Lieutenant Krantz, of course. Good Lieutenant. 
couldn't I speak to Yam, please? Well, it is an infection of the rules during working hours. But... Oh, but you can manage it, yes? For me. All right. But shall we say, um, for your sister, huh? <laughs> <laughs> Where? To the fence there. And don't be too long. Oh, yes. Thanks. Well, well, little one. Hello. Yam, yeah, you've been discovered. Folk who call one veteran Bucharest. When? Just now. You've got to get out of here. They'll be coming in a minute. Yes, so good. Not Fogo. Anything can happen. One better calling the Gestapo, anything. Yam, yeah, darling, you've got to leave the second. I can't. Yeah. I can't. My wife can I listen carefully. Get to Dr. Navotny and tell him what's happened. All plans are off. I've got to plant those bombs now as soon as I can, do you understand? And if possible, get Nesta and the car along that road right away. Oh, darling, no. Is that quite clear? Oh, yes, but... Yeah, but there isn't time. Go ahead, then, quickly. Oh, yeah, I can't leave you. Do as I tell you. Don't come here bothering me again. Be off now. Go on. Off you get. Mother's call, huh? You have to put them in their place now and then.
Gun mine's empty. Are operating tonight. Servicing and warming up. How long have you got? Less than 20 minutes. Now, if we are to go as planned, we must get up there and watch our chance. The dawn is with us. Are you all ready? Yeah, I'm... darling, I can't come with you. What? You'll always be in my heart. There's work to be done here still. Nonsense. Marshka, there's nothing more you can do for us. You are a liability, in fact. So, I order you to leave the country in good hands. Oh, Doc. Mm -hmm. Please, we must get started. Well, Doctor, as you said yourself, words sometimes are poor things. Good luck. Goodbye. 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 Where are we heading for? Motor. In a German plane? It's all right. We have prearranged signals. 20 miles offshore by secret code. Now is our chance. If we don't get away with this, you'll always know, won't you? Always. Come on. Coffee. I'll bet you all the marks in your pocket. All right. Fifty marks. Yeah. Hand it up. Right. right up and keep them up. All clear, Bronte. that wall. Quickly, get in there. Keep your hands up. Keep them up.
just a simple little meeting.